Hello everyone, Mas Bajo here and in this video I'm gonna show you how I did my smoke simulation on Blender GL SLV port so yeah let's get started uh, first uh, but first if you don't understand any word I say it's because I don't use English as my daily basis so sorry about that and now we are going to create the smoke first we are going to press shift A and then we're gonna add uh, icosphere we're gonna scale it about that size uh, slightly bigger that size and scale it on the z-axis like that now we are going to press space and then we are going to type a smoke we have our quick smoke now we are going to press tab to enter the edit mode press 1 and 5 to go to the front of the graphic view and then we're gonna drag the box about there and we're gonna scale it from the x-axis slightly there and then we are going to scale it along the y-axis about that big now you are going to press 5 and we press tab again to exit the edit mode now if we play the smoke simulation right now oh it's too dark we gonna add some light we gonna go to the lamp and then hemi i'm gonna place it right there and now we are going to change the shading mode into a glsl and then the viewport setting into material now when we go back into the first frame and then we play it back the smoke is going up and uh, and, and on my last video I want the smoke going into sideways so uh, unable to do that I'm using a force field a wind and then we are going to rotate it around the x axis r x 90 degree and then we gonna put the wind right there and we're going to play it back it's not affecting the smoke it's because the force field of the wind is not powerful enough and we are going to change the strength of the wind in this we select the wind and then we're gonna press this icon right here and we are going to change the strength into say about 6 and then we are going to play back the smoke again okay I think it's good but the smoke is still going up and it's too dense too many smoke and so we are going to go back into the first frame and we are going to select the smoke object and then on the smoke object panel I think we are going to decrease the density about 0.1 and the temperature diff I don't know what is this, what this is but temperature difference to ambient temperature okay this one we are going to scale it down around uh, zero now and when we play back the smoke it's 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 like that and now there is another setting that we can adjust um, 
we are going to click the smoke domain this white box right here and then we are going to change the division number uh, we're going to increase it about 64 and we are going to make the smoke domain into a smoke adaptive domain I'm gonna check this one and what it does is I think is make the simulation slide faster because it's adding another domain on the main domain there is a domain inside a domain I think now when we play back the smoke um, it look something like this and the difference between the division 64 and 32 is uh, so uh, let me go back into 32 and when we play it back oops sorry we go back into the first frame play it back uh, the 32 division is the smoke is thicker um, slightly bigger but uh, on the 62 division 64 the smoke is more I don't know what is called um, green tea I guess yes so um, and we can increase this into something like uh, on the to change the division we can have to click the uh, domain and then we change to probably one two eight and see how is it going so uh, something like that I think I'm gonna go to 64 and we can also add another smoke object inside a smoke domain we press shift D and then we are gonna drag it right here slightly further back and we can increase the scale I'm gonna play it back and for for this one um, to make a slight variation I'm gonna select this smoke object and then play around with the uh, uh, temperature let's say 0 0.01 and we can also uh, duplicate the domain and the smoke object shift D and then drag it right there and we can play around with the um, domain division probably 50 something like that yeah it's heavy and I'm gonna delete this and we can also add another force field modifiers uh, like a vortex probably right there and we're gonna increase the strength into 5 and let's see how is this going oops I think we're going to increase this lifespan of the smoke um where is it uh, on the smoke domain we go into a uh, smoke charge cache i don't know and we're gonna start one and end on the a uh, what is it what is it life life, life. time scale one i don't know let's say two
something like that we are going to decrease try play around with the setting about two and the wind force uh, strength into three this one into four something like that so yeah and and for the bike scene um, I didn't animate uh, I'm animating the smoke I mean the bike is uh, let's say we add another mess like a cube this is the, the vehicle uh, I don't know how to attach if any of you guys know how to I would love to know about it I want to attach this smoke object into this one and I control P and then object can keep some transform and when I move the object what the smoke is suddenly it doesn't work on my previous video but I don't know how this work uh, the smoke is sticking with the object now that is weird so uh, we can do this and then we can animate this thing like uh, gonna rotate the object RZ1 and something like this and gonna press I location gonna another frame bracket right here I location I think it's location rotation location rotation then gonna go another frame down right there and going right here and rotate uh, gonna turn on this one rotate like this location rotation and then go slightly there and gonna be like this and rotate like that let's press I again Location rotation going right here, going right there. I location rotation and going right here. I slightly up and back right here, slightly down. center like this so let's see how is it going um, do, 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 do. yeah something like that and we're gonna might increase the wind strength <coughs> something like seven And we probably gonna make the domain slightly <coughs> larger, something about that. Whoops, we can't change the domain, everybody. So we probably gonna change the domain on the first session, yeah? On the first time we create the smoke object. So, um,. That's it, I think, and I hope you guys understand what I'm doing or what I'm saying. So, uh, thank you for watching, and see you again.
on my next video probably and sorry for not being a great tutor because I don't really know how to teach people people because I'm also learning myself about this blender stuff so thanks again and bye bye